Welcome to the tutorial for Measure Square Stone version. In this video, we'll cover the basics for getting started with the software, from importing and scaling a plan, all the way to generating a proposal and integrating the output to get our slab cut diagrams. To begin, let's open up the software and we'll take a look at our sample database. We can see here that we have multiple cut to size products and if we double click on an item, we can see the template including pricing. If we expand the labor products folder, we'll see that there are many linear foot items or edge types available as well. We also have an example project loaded so we can navigate around and check out the details like backsplashes and sink counts, etc. Next, let's cover how to auto assign product. If we go up to the top center and select the drop down, we can choose our stone product type, such as Morning Frost, and then click on the drop-down arrow and choose Auto Assign Product. This will help us when we go to the countertop section and then choose to draw a countertop. You'll see when we draw the rectangular shape, when we're done, the product will be auto assigned. In this way, we can get all of our kitchen countertops drawn in faster with the product automatically populating. With Measure Square Stone's powerful batch assign feature, once we have all our counters drawn, we can select the product, right click, and say select rooms applied to. This will highlight all of the areas that have received our stone product, in this case our white ice, and then we can left click to choose our edge charge and drag and drop over. This batch assigning of edge details will save us quite a bit of time when we're working with our projects, as now, each edge will be accounted for and properly drawn in. Let's open the software and click on the Import PDF button. We can then select our PDF files that we want to bring in and click Open. This will then bring us to the Select Images pop-up where we can choose which pages we want to bring in to the project. This is especially useful if we're working with a full set of plans and only want to bring in the pages that pertain to our project. We can double click on the thumbnail to review the page in our preferred PDF viewer, and then we can deselect whichever pages don't apply. In our case, we will click on all the pages as they are within the scope of work, and then click OK. Next, we can use the image preview area to set our pages to scale. We can see on the right side of the screen each of our pages are available with individual drop down menus where we can set the scale. In our case, we'll use the Set Scale option by selecting the Pick Two Points option and then left-clicking. With this tool, we will line up our crosshair and left-click on each side of the dimension or reference for scale in our case. When we see the pop-up, we'll type in 16 feet. We'll do the same operation for our other pages also. Once we have the scale set, we can choose to import our pages into the Takeoff tab of the program. In our case, we'll choose the Import to Current Tab option so we can have all of our pages on one tab, which will make it easier to get a complete total for our project. Now that our project pages have been brought in, we can use the Draw Rectangle option from the Counter menu to begin tracing out our counters by holding down our left mouse button and dragging to the opposite corner, and then letting go of the left mouse button to complete the drawing of the counter. Once the counters have been drawn, we can drag and drop our stone products over onto the counter by left clicking to highlight the item blue and then dragging over onto the slab and then letting off the left mouse button to apply. If we right click on our example product here, we can select the view modify details button to take a look at the product template. We can see we have the product name, the unit of measure, the display color, the thickness of the slab, as well as the sales price per square foot and the cost price per square foot. To make a new item, we can click on the blue plus icon on either the left hand side by where it says project items, or we can click on the same icon on the top left of the pop up here. In our case, we'll name our new stone item called Mountain Mist Quartz. And we'll then click on the type menu to choose the product template. In our case, we'll choose Stone Slab. We can then include the product details for this new stone slab, including the thickness, display color, sales price, cost price, and then click Save.
Next, let's make a linear edge item similar to our flat edge example product. To begin, let's click on the blue plus. We'll name our product OG Edge and choose the type template called Labor. For this item, we'll click on the unit menu and choose linear foot. We'll choose the display color and then set the sales price and cost price before clicking save. Next, let's make a sink item similar to our undermount sink. To begin, we'll click on the blue plus. Let's name our product Oval Undermount Sink and choose the type template called Labor. For this item, we'll choose the display color. Next, we'll click on the unit menu and choose each. We can then enter our sales and cost price and then click Save. Now that all of our items have been made, we can complete this counter by dragging and dropping the rest of our items over. We'll drag and drop the undermount sink to our counter and then let off the left mouse button. We'll leave the pop-up set to input count and click OK. Note we now have the red dot indicating our sink. Next, we'll drag and drop our linear item to the edge of our countertop. To adjust the display style of the linear edge treatments, we can take a quick detour up to the system settings gear in the top left of the screen. And then we'll select the drawing style tab. We can left click on the linear product style menu. Let's left click on the thickness menu and then select the second to last thickness setting so that the edge details will show up more readily on our drawings. Click save in the bottom right to save our changes. Next, we'll cover how to add our backsplash to our counter. To begin, let's left click on the splash button and then we can hover over the edge where we will need our backsplash and return. When we see the outline of the splash, we can left click to place the return and splash. Once the splash and return have been placed, we can use the same drag and drop approach to place not only the stone product, but also our linear products along the edges as needed. In this way, we can go counter by counter to complete our whole project. With MeasureSquare Stone's smart tagging system, you'll save hours of spreadsheet work on each project you tackle, with the ability to create projects that are simply impossible in Excel or any other system. The time-saving three-level tag system can be accessed by going to the right-hand side of the screen and selecting the property view. For our sample project, you'll see we have the tag for type. In this case, it's set to one bedroom. We also have a tag for unit. In this case, it's set to A1.D, as well as a product tag, in this case showing for kitchen tops. As we go through our project, we can select our items and tag them as we take off, making it easier to group and report on our project later on. If we need to add a new tag, we can just click on the manage list and make a new tag. That's how we made the tag such as type A studio here. The great thing about the tags in Measure Square Stone is we can quickly sort through our worksheets by going to the top left of the project takeoff screen and then selecting the worksheet tab. And we can then sort as needed. For example, with this file, we're currently sorting by the unit, in this case units 1-2. This left column tag is then giving us the product breakdown of our project by units. This will be a great output focused on a building unit approach. But oftentimes, we'll need multiple worksheets depending on who will be receiving our documents. So rather than having to painstakingly recreate a new spreadsheet for a product-focused output instead of a unit-based output, we can simply drag the product tag to the left, and now all of our project items will be sorted with the product name. In this case, now our kitchen tops will be the first level of sorting, giving us a completely new comprehensive spreadsheet for our project in a matter of seconds instead of hours. If we right click on the column name, we can also quickly collapse the group reports, condensing down the info for our whole project into total summaries. For example, 
if we look at the product level report, we can now see that we need 417.52 square feet of our product for the kitchen counters. And the sales cost would be $8,790.41. If we left click on the plus to the left of the product tag, we can then re-expand the spreadsheet to see all of the individual line items sorted by product. For an item name report, we can see how this report will change on the fly simply by moving the item name column over to the left hand side and once again our smart tags in our worksheet will resort these items accordingly. We can also collapse this view to quickly get a report on the overall quantities for our item names. In this case we'll see we have the high level summary of our usage quantity and the price associated with each of our products. Next let's cover how to make a proposal. To create a proposal for our project, we can click on the top half of the Excel button in the top center. We'll then click the Save button. This will save our proposal and open up our file where we can double click to view it in Excel. We can then modify the Excel template if needed to complete the proposal. If we want to link this worksheet up with the Measure Square Stone Cut engine, we can go into the worksheet view and click on the drop down arrow below the export to Excel option and choose export stone cut template. This will open up the Excel file where we can modify anything in the materials tab if needed. In our case, we'll adjust the length to the needed size of 180 feet for both materials. We can also review our products tab from the Excel view to review what our output will be. Once we have the stone cut template ready to go, we can close out the Excel tab and go back into Measure Square Stone and click on the Stone Cut tab of the software. We can then click on the green plus and create a new project. We'll start by naming our project Madison Apartments. We can adjust the unit of measure, our saw width. We can also choose the first cut direction from auto horizontal, or vertical. We can also use the cut levels from 1 to 6, with 6 being the most aggressive. We can then click Save on these changes. We can now load in our Excel stone cut template by clicking on the Import from Excel option. We can select our Excel stone template and click Open. Our products and items will be loaded into our project. And we can then complete our operation by clicking on the Start Cut button to render out our slab drawings. We can review these slab drawings, or we can download a PDF of the drawings by clicking the Download PDF button, so we can share the slab drawings with colleagues or clients. Thanks for watching, and happy measuring with Measure Square Stone.